Hi everyone. I bet you're wondering why this book cover is staring you in the face right now. Well that is because this is the first book in my October to be reads that I have finished. So you should be really excited. Here it is, My Lady Quicksilver by Beck McMasters. This is the uh, third book in a series of London steampunk vampire werewolf romances that she's written. The first one is Kiss of Steel. The second one is Heart of Iron. Um, My Lady Quicksilver takes place just about a month after Heart of Iron ends, and um, I really enjoyed it. The whole plot is based on... Um, I can tell you this and won't give anything away. At the end of Heart of Iron, there's an explosion in the Seat of Power. And um, the uh, head of the Nighthawks, which is like a police division within this, the world of the books, his name is Sir Jasper Lynch, he is told by the Prince Consort that he has to find the revolutionary who set off the bomb or he will be killed. So that's kind of the where the, My Lady Quicksilver opens, is that um, Jasper Lynch is looking for this revolutionary because obviously he doesn't want to die, and this revolutionary is trying to make it so that... Um, okay, just a quick little bit about the world of these books. It's set in Victorian uh, London, as most steampunk novels are, and um, this is a world where vampires and werewolves exist. Uh, vampires are in, fact, are in fact people who are infected with the craving virus, which is only administered to certain members of the aristocracy. And um, the members of the aristocracy that rule the land are called the echelon. So there's no parliament, but there's the echelon. And the uh, prince consort is kind of like the ruler. Um, he, in, well, in name only, obviously, he's married to the queen, but she's human, and everybody within this world thinks that she's pretty much just a, a figurehead. So, um, that is just a little synopsis. There's, um, there's also a lot of, um, sort of class issues within these novels, one of them being, um, that there's a party called Humanist, the Humans First Party, which is trying to make it so that humans are not under this yoke of oppression that the vampires have uh, set up for them. Actually, they're not called vampires, they're called blue bloods. And a vampire is what a blue blood turns into when the craving virus takes over. And it's not like a romantic, sparkly vampire, it's like a sick, nasty, uh, pasty nasty smelling thing. So, just so you know, it, within the world of Beck McMaster's books, it's the Blue Bloods. And um, they have kind of set up control over everyone, so the Humans First Party is trying to even out the playing field. And this revolutionary named Mercury is part, uh, partly trying to help the Humans First Party, but also trying to help a group of people called the Mechs, who are have some kind of uh, mechanical augmentation. So they might be missing arms, they might be missing legs, but they uh, have had mechanical limbs uh, grafted onto their bodies. And in order to pay back the blacksmiths who do this work, they have to work in these sort of... Um, they call it Undertown. They have to work in these mines, and the working conditions aren't really fair, and so Mercury is really trying to change things, but she's kind of a violent sort of revolutionary. She's uh, wanting to really take over the status quo. And when you have two arch enemies get together, and one's a male and one's a female, there tends to be a bit of sexual tension, and that's kind of what you've got going on in My Lady Quicksilver. So Jasper Lynch is really attracted to Mercury, and Mercury becomes really attracted to him, and um, basically craziness ensues. What you discover is that, well, what you discover in the second book in this series is that um, Mercury is this woman, uh, is actually a group of people they that will alternate the, the name Mercury, but ultimately, the one who really takes on the role is this woman, Rosalind, who had, her younger brother is missing, and uh, she's trying to find him. And in order to find him, she becomes secretary to Sir Jasper Lynch. So she, what he doesn't know is that his secretary is, in fact, Mercury. And um, he's attracted to Mercury. He's also attracted to Rosalind. So you have a lot of, of weirdness 
going on. Um, I really enjoyed the book. I thought that the characters were really great. Um, I loved the, the struggle that Lynch was going through. Um, and the loneliness as well. They're both lonely, so that's something else that really draws them together. The plot was really, really well paced. That's something that I like about Beck McMaster's books is that um, there isn't any slowness. There's no dragging. Everything is to the point. Um, and she's very classy in where she um, puts the intimacy between the two people. It is a popular romance book, so there are some very adult scenes. There is adult language, so if you're watching this and you're under 18, then um, just letting you know. <laughs> um, but I really enjoyed it. I uh, am really coming to love steampunk, especially when it involves vampires and werewolves. So, And I'm really excited to be able to cross off one of the books on my October to be read list. So right now I am working on um, the name of the what? What is this book called? I keep forgetting. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafron. Um, I am about a third of the way through it so fingers crossed I'll have it finished by the weekend maybe or before and um, I'll see you guys in a little bit because I'm about to watch a movie and today's movie Monday so I'll see you guys later bye